Well, let's bring in Benedict Pavillot, who joins us now live from London. Benedict, um, up to the very end, even on the Sunday shows yesterday, Liz Truss said that this plan would go ahead, and now this U-turn. What changed? What a difference a day makes. What a major, screeching, colossal U-turn. Uh, so clearly, uh, Kwasi Kwarteng uh, announced suddenly before several major interviews this morning to the British media that uh, he was ditching that top income tax rate, that 45 pence tax rate. Uh, and that, he says, came soon after he spoke to MPs and voters and found it was, quote, a huge distraction. Uh, so he announced in a tweet, we are not proceeding with the abolition of the 45 pence rate. It's become a distraction from our overriding mission, underline word, overriding mission, to tackle the challenges facing our country. We get it. And we have listened. Uh, well, some would say it's taken uh, some time since it's been uh, 10 days since that presentation of what the government called a fiscal event or mini budget, which has now been described as the biggest budget in 50 five oh years. Uh, so what changed? Well, Kwarteng said he spoke uh, to Liz Truss, his boss, uh, last night after seeing the intense focus on this measure. He said they had been absorbing the reaction and that they were thinking, what are we going to do? So we now know uh, that they are abolishing it. That's what they're going to do. The fact is, I think that there would have been huge trouble getting this through the House of Commons. Yeah, and Benedict, presumably this was done uh, also to reassure the financial markets, to reassure the British public. Well, the question is, is the damage already done? Well, the British public that is going to be funding these cuts uh, that were going to help uh, the richest. So that in the middle of a cost of living crisis, that in the middle of a 10 percent uh, inflation, everything is about timing and in a context. We don't live in a vacuum. Also, uh, not part of the vacuum or in the context is the fact that we've had national rail strikes with what are those strikers asking for? 54,000 of them on Saturday. More to come in the coming days. They're asking for their salaries, their payment uh, to be up uh, in line with inflation. So let's be clear. Politically, this is grabbing headlines. It's political drama. It is absolutely significant. But economically, what economists point out is that, in fact, um, this £2 billion reduction in the borrowing of the government to help the wealthiest is not going to compensate for the other £45 billion of tax cuts that have been announced in that budget. So naturally, as I said, this is grabbing absolute attention. Um, it is a policy reversal. Um, and it is significant, less than one month into the premiership of Liz Truss, uh, and therefore also uh, of the Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng getting his, uh, his job, uh, it's possible, indeed probable, I would say, that we're going to see more turbulence ahead. Um, and, of course, the fact that there are the context also, the polls, uh, and that there is the main opposition party, a Labour lead, of 15 to 33 points ahead of the Tories makes a lot of Conservative MPs very nervous. So less than one month into her premiership, uh, has Liz Truss already sealed her own fate? Well, we'll all be watching even more a speech that we'll be covering on Wednesday. That is the keynote speech, her first as Prime Minister of Liz Truss at the Tory conference. France 24's Benedict Pavio reporting there live from London. Benedict, thank you very much.